Hi, this is A to Z Baby 10. I will be showing you how to do Flight Simulator GPS tutorial. Okay, here we go. Just one second. Just looking at some information here, real quick. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, since I'm doing KM to KMDW. In other words, Chicago O'Hare to K O R D or Cord, which is, excuse me, I'm doing Chicago Midway to, to Chicago O'Hare. So, that is a very short flight, not mentioning it is GPS. So, I'm going to set my altitude to 2000 and my speed to 200 knots. Okay, good job. Just one second while we get it up here. I wrote a lot of lines and stuff down, so I'm just kind of like reviewing them. Okay. This is very important. See this nav GPS? You're going to turn that to GPS. That is so important. Otherwise, you will not be able to do anything. Okay. Good job. You're going to click on your GPS, which is the satellite button. Good job. You're going to click the D with the arrow through it. Good job. If you're having troubles, just follow my cursor. There are two knobs. Use the smaller one to scroll through. Once you have at least scrolled once, you can type in the things or your letters with your keyboard. You're going to hit enter and your cord is going to highlight. And then you hit enter again and activate highlights. And then you're then your pink line, a lot of people think it's red, but I call it pink, will show up. Now you're going to go into the proc, and you're going to click select approach. In other words, hit enter when select approach is highlighted. Okay. Okay, ILS, and I'm going to go and do GPS. I found they're pretty much the same, maybe a little different, but you use a small knob to scroll and so they're pretty much the same in approach wise so I just did uh, GPS 32 left excuse my, uh, my mistake there hit enter and then you hit enter for vectors and then load will highlight and you'll hit enter and then this pops up this is a lot of information here. Just hit enter, that's what I've always done. I don't know if it's correct or not, but it seems to work. And hit proc. And then you can do this for any flight, no matter how long it is. I've done it before. You hit activate vectors to final. And hit enter. Okay. See your line. There's different waypoints. The pink one is your first waypoint, and that's what you will be turning onto. Your white is your second waypoint. So my GPS is on, and I'm going to turn my flight director on. I'll be taking off. See you guys up there. Okay, here we go. Follow my cursor if there are any mistakes being made. I have paused this. Okay, you're going to click VOR lock. In other words, VOR localizer or nav hold switch. You're going to turn that on. Good job. Okay, now you're going to turn your autopilot on. Good job. Now you go and turn your altitude hold switch on. Good job. I'm going to lower it down to 1100 because 1800 is way too much. Do not click heading and then you turn your auto throttle on and you click speed okay good job do not like i said do not click heading very bad we don't like it okay we will see you later okay here we go so i clicked play I know I haven't even put my landing gear up, but 
but I'm still going to start turning. Yes, I know I'm very low turning, but I don't care. This is a short flight. I'm just showing you what to do. I would not normally turn this low. Yes, I did reduce all my power so that I can maintain my cruising speed, or not cruising speed, but my destinated speed. I don't know. So, yes. And we're just going to keep turning. There's my GPS. Click Shift 3 to do that. And see the line? I'm lining up because of the VOR localizer. Good job. Now I'm going to zoom in by using that. I like to zoom it in because it seems more accurate to me. Alright, good job. And I'm just going to move that and I'm going to shrink it. Sorry, this took a little bit, but I never could seem to get it on the corner. But we'll get it eventually. Okie dokie, I just paused it just for you. I turned my auto throttle and my autopilot off. Okie dokie, good job. Okay, we're going to just go to our tail and you hit shift backspace. I held shift backspace down to lower so I could see where I was in comparison to the runway. Yes, I know I'm high. Like I said, I forgot to do my descent. I know it sounds stupid, but I did. Okay, here we go. Use I used my rudder and I still maintained good speed. I cruised on the runway a little bit, but oh well. As long as I get my passengers down on the ground safely, that's what I care about. Okay, we're coming in. And Houston, we have touched down. No, that's not the line, but still. Yes, I know. I forgot to turn my throttle all the way down. So it takes me a little bit to slow down. You'll hear it. There you go. Now I have it down. Yes, I messed up a little bit on my turning right here. But oh well. Thank you for watching.